Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 26th of February 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. OK, my wonderful friends, I do apologise if you can hear any commotion outside. The water company have turned up, partitioned part of the road off and are now proceeding to dig it up. <laughs> so if you can hear any uh, noises, um, that's exactly what you are hearing. OK, well, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the middle of the week. OK, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends for Wednesday the 26th of February, thank you, 2020, oh thank you, what do my wonderful friends need to know, there we go. Okay, your cards for the middle of the week are, oh, wow, Major Arcana, number 10, the Wheel of the Year. Ooh, followed by another 10, the Ten of Wands. Wow, followed by the Nine of Wands. Okay. Your first card is Major Arcana, number 10, the Wheel of the Year. Major Arcana speaks of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. The Wheel of the Year is represents um, cycles, working with the um, energies of cycles, understanding that everything is ever transforming and changing. Actually, I'm feeling today, because of the following two cards, that Spirit is reminding you of how to feel on the outside to make any changes on the outside. And if you want transformation, if you want opportunities and good luck and fortuitous events to come your way, then be expectant, I am hearing. Expect a change, expect good luck, expect opportunities and blessings. Oh, expect the transformation, my friends, and then expect abundance and prosperity. Oh, expect is the word today. <laughs> and I'm really hearing very strongly um, you having this more understanding um, of cycles, of the energies of the cycles, of the vibrations, you working with these energies now. Um, I'm really going back to yesterday's um, very watery uh, message um, and I'm really feeling um, that you are learning to go with the ebb and flow, with the push and the pull, with this wonderful pattern of cycles. I really feel that you did yesterday close the door softly um, and that this is now bringing about this wonderful transformation for you on the inside. Um, you know that there are times when um, abundance isn't going to flow as well but maybe you can set things aside for those times. Um, it, this is about Making hay while the sun shines, <laughs> Ruby has just reminded me. Making hay while the sun shines. Setting things aside for your future self, that your future self will be proud of you for doing so, my friends. Ooh. <laughs> doing the inner work. 
this is a real fortuitous card my friends and really um is is foretelling of fortuitous events um and the only block i feel is is you um so uh, the word of the day is expect expect good luck expect fort fortune fortuitous opportunities and events to be coming your way and expect um, a change in in your life for the better for the positive oh <laughs> okay well next we have another 10 the 10 of wands and this is bringing you back into the physical here we are talking about you putting in the inner work this is you in the physical on the outside so 10 it is still that number of culmination still the number of ultimation reaching the ultimate reaching that peak um, endings and beginnings this is you my friends learning to unburden yourselves this is you no longer are you people pleasing um, and I'm really hearing that you are putting down um tasks um things that have been given to you i'm hearing some of these tasks um these these things that you have been given or that you feel um that you should be doing um there is a change here in this energy in this vibration uh, you are unburdening yourselves my friends you are giving back um the jobs that you have been doing for other people to those people um, in the understanding my friends that unless um, they do things for themselves they are not going to learn uh, and they are going to be stuck in the wheel of the year without understanding about movement transformation and cycles and I see that this is um, this is almost like the other reading where we were putting um, making changes one thought at a time. Um, this is you unburdening yourself one task at a time, one subject at a time, one situation at a time. But I do hear strongly, no more are you people pleasing. You are more about pleasing yourself first. This is not in a selfish way because you still have this wonderful gracious open heart energy about you you are acting wholeheartedly um, so this is not a selfish thing that you are doing um, it is a positive thing it's positive for you because you are removing um, obstacles from your path that has been stopping um, you could almost see this as a wheel of karma um, and it's been um, not working in your favour because of these blocks that you have had on your path um, but now removing these blocks these tasks these subjects dealing with things one at a time making it more copable for you to do um, light at the end of the tunnel my friends this is an ending and a wonderful new beginning uh, and I love that this is a path and it is a pathway here to this fabulous um, castle built into the side of the mountain um, you know if you were to put down all of these ones that you could make it um, these ones they do represent, my friends, your goals, desires, your dreams, some of these ones. Um, maybe it's time that you put down some of these dreams that you thought that were achievable and maybe they they are not. Maybe it is a dream too far um, because we are not dealing with things one at a time. Um, so your dreams, goals and visions all achievable but it's about working with cycles it's about working with the change and transformation knowing knowing when to play your hand i am hearing and knowing when to fold um okay wow and next we have the nine of wands and nine is a number of completion so this really is for me my friends a time for you to understand that things are drawing to a close things are completing um, as you are now moving into new times i am really drawn in this illustration to the background 
uh, whether this is a sunrise or a sunset in my in my mind i am feeling it is a sunrise like the dawn of a new day nine is reaching a completion reaching an ideal having your dreams come true the wonderful number of leadership and here you are standing your ground, defending your position, defending your dreams, goals and desires. Um, I'm feeling here maybe maybe you are being asked um, to defend where you are finding yourself uh, on the path, on the journey at the moment. Um, maybe I'm hearing in this defence um, and this defence defensive energy um, is bringing about a stuckness um, again this is about dealing with dreams goals desires subjects and tasks one at a time oh oh <laughs> okay mm. I am drawn to the the red of both of these characters um, and obviously it's one so it is uh, about your um, passions but also uh, red for me representing the your kundalini energy your root chakra um, your ambitions your goals and your desires all there within reach my friends but it is about working with the energies working with the cycles knowing when to make your hay knowing when to make your move knowing when to play knowing when to fold oh <laughs> it's a card game today my friends okay which is wisdom by uh Barbara Mickle John Free and Flavia Kate Peters this is the deck I lovingly call Jamie's deck Jamie was the very first person, oh, let me put these in the right way, uh, to make a donation to the channel. And we are very grateful. So this was the very first deck that I bought for the channel. OK. What is the message? For my wonderful friends from Spirit. For Wednesday. Oh, it's you. Thank you. Okay. Let me lower the camera. And your card is wow. Air imagination and coming under the wheel of the year um, as I'm looking here and we look at air um, wow here again we see all the cycles uh, as we have the elements of air earth fire and water so we have north east south and west um, really here corresponding um, and of course air it's that element that you cannot physically see um, and air represents thoughts, ideas, impulses, imagination. So it's about your thoughts today, my friends. What you are thinking is what is generating in the physical. OK. Air. The power of air sweeps through your imagination urging you to believe what you see, for you have been blessed with second sight. Strange shapes in the sky, vivid colours as you close your eyes, sighting repetitive signs and symbols all confirm your natural clairvoyance. A canny gift for a witch indeed. So, disregard your doubts, your ability of clear seeing. For these fears will blow you off course. Instead, stand firm in the eye of the storm and know that your visions are valid. For your imagination is the gateway to real magic that beckons a world that you have been longing to discover. Call upon the spirits of the air to enhance your creativity. Meditation 
abilities and to stimulate your mind as you light incense, a yellow candle and face the direction of east. This is a great time for fertility as air blows you in the direction of new beginnings. Wow! So throw caution to the wind and watch as your visions manifest into reality. So you are being told to stand firm, my friends. Do not let this situation I am hearing blow you off your course because the wheel of the year is turning in your favour. OK, don't be afraid. No need for fright. Imagination's sacred sight. Time to believe. For tis the key. Unleash your gift and trust what you see. Oh, wow, 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 my wonderful friends. <laughs> OK, Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Baron reed <clears throat> Oops, there we go. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, wow. I can see already. Oh, well, we have two. Well, that's okay. Well, that's wonderful. Okay, so we have the B, number 16. Look industriousness and sweet victory wow and next you have number 27 the earth fairy physical health grounding foundations so i'm adding the one and six up to five five being the number of conflict crisis and chaos but also transformation and change and also uh, two and seven i am adding up to the wonderful number nine um so this is my friends you definitely completing a cycle wow okay the bee when the bee buzzes onto your path it's a reminder that with hard work and a firm commitment to building your dream a sweet outcome is assured the bee is a symbol of luck so expect miracles and your life will be victorious. So it's about expectation. <laughs> I heard it at the beginning, my friends, uh, being reinforced now by the B energy. Um, the B is a symbol of luck. So expect miracles and your life will be victorious and sweet. Remember that you also create your own luck. That is Effort is essential as you progress along your path in order to make your dreams a reality. The bee is industrious, a busy creature that's always making honey. The bee gets busy and that honey will soon be yours. And the bee is always a fortunate omen. So effort is essential as you progress along your path in order to make these dreams a reality. So B is saying, get busy. Today is the day, my friends. Get busy and get, get in that wonderful energy of expectation. OK, so next we have another wonderful fairy and we have... The beautiful Earth Fairy. I absolutely love her wings. Physical health, grounding and foundations. The Earth Fairy says to pay attention to your health and all things pertaining to your physical body. Perhaps you need exercise or to pay special attention to your diet. Are you getting enough sleep? The Earth Fairy reminds you to indulge your senses. It's good to revel in the sensations of your body. The sensual world is an important part of the path to Avalon and must be honoured. When the Earth Fairy appears, she reminds you to get into your body and out of your head. Don't spend so much time analysing things over and over. Get your hands in some dirt gardening perhaps walk barefoot in the grass and remember that your physical self is the house 
of your spirit as the Mother Earth houses you. Get grounded. Remember that you are part of the living Earth. Stay connected. Another message from the Earth Fairy is to make sure that the foundations of all that you do are solid. Be aware that projects, relationships, business ideas and families, wow, that's all of these ones, all need to be built on sturdy, steady foundations and the Earth Fairy always helps you when you ask. Wow! I'm now looking at these two cards <laughs> and I'm seeing the actual difference where in this ten of wands you are carrying the ones on your shoulder. Here, the ones are solid in the earth. Wow, notice the difference my friends where you are rooting your dreams, goals and desires because they these are when, when you have that expectation that things are going to turn in your favour, things are going to come your way, then these dreams, goals and desires become more solidified, um, more tangible I am hearing, wow. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, Ruby, you are on. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And it is time to call on Ruby now. The kind red spirit. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends for Wednesday the 26th of February? Thank you Ruby. Okay, I am really intrigued <laughs> to see which card she has picked for you and so your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... <gasps> oh, yes, yes, yes. This is the day. Today, my friends, make a wish. Believe in miracles because magic surrounds you. Again, you are reminded that the elementals and the ele energies of the elements are always working whether you notice or not. So you are being guided by the gorgeous, magnificent ruby today to be more aware of the cycles, of the energies that you are dipping into and working with. And that the, this is the key, my friends, the key to making and assisting this wheel to turn in your favour. And the magic word for that key today, Ruby and Spirit are both saying expectation, expect a change, expect good luck, expect blessings and abundance and miracles and magic, expect all of these things to work in your favour and to and to come for you I am hearing, oh <laughs> wow, okay, let's find magic the unicorns and fairies have come together to remind you of your connection. Wow, with magical beings, they invite you to ask for their combined support. A situation in your life may need an extra dash of fairy dust and a beam of unicorn light to help it to resolve quickly and easily. Perhaps you have become lost, wow, in the outer world of logic and need to remember the power of magic and miracles that comes from within. Or this may simply be a joyful invitation to make a wish 
and know that you are surrounded by magic at this time. Call on the fairies and the unicorns to remind you, to guide you and to help bring out an even higher outcome. Ask them to show you unmistakable signs that they are with you and spend time out in nature actually speaking with them. Call on them as a team, knowing that the lightness and fun of the fairies is the perfect complement to the loving energy of the unicorns. They whisper in your ear, make a wish and believe it is already so. Believe in us, believe in magic, now and always. Oh, and I'm feeling um, the red here. Um, it's the energy of Ruby uh, shining through with this magic, uh, with this message, uh, filling you with a dash of uh, Ruby magic. I am hearing. Oh, wow. This is an absolutely wonderful message yet again, my friends. The word of the day expectation it's the key it's the key to opening the door to magic and miracles occurring in your life and um it's a day of good luck my friends um wow <laughs> oh wow 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 oh thank you for all of your likes your shares Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming. And so my wonderful friends may favour and magic be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.